Right then, so I've, yeah, so I've, I've done it. I did the thing again where I tried to look to see if anyone had done it online, and... No. <laughs> and he found a review, and... It's weird about visual novels. Apparently, once you play at least four or five of them, everyone thinks they're Oscar fucking wild. Anyway, let's crack on with this. Reaction complete! I am the greatest of all the alchemies! And mists. <clears throat> Gonna increase that chaos. Uh, should we save it now? Yeah, sure, why not? Save. Right. Let's see how much chaos we have. Please make a gobble like three. God fucking damn it, two! Oh well. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I hold up my hand and a blast of light shoots from it, spreading like a white wave over my surroundings. It flows across the trees and bushes in a concentric circular pattern, radiating outwards from where I stand. However, there's one thing that seems out of place, a shape that isn't visible to my eyes, but still shows up nonetheless. <clears throat> Coughing again to apologize. Right. So there's an outline of a very, very big kitten or a sabre cat. What is that? It looks about four feet tall and is hunched over in the shadows. I can see two massive fangs on its head and a quadrupedal stance. I think it knows we see it. Indeed, it has begun to move towards us from the woods, growling as it stalks us, as if it's tracking its prey. Diggle, watch out! It leaps from the bushes, forcing me to dive out of the way as I attempt to shield myself from the unexpected attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely the same thing. The monster's eyes seem to glow red in an unusual manner. After landing on the other side of the clearing, it growls and continues to watch over me. All right, now's my chance. Take this! I grab a vial from my belt and release the energy. Channeling it through my body, I don't ex exactly stop to think about whether showing signs of that I was an unbound would be wise. It's a risk I have to take. The flame heads up towards the creature, illuminating the area. However, it roars, dissipating with a counter shield of water energy. What the? No red eyes. How the hell did you know to counter something like that unless... It lunges at me again, tearing my cloak as I barely dodge it. Oh, I think I know. And I can see what had its victim so scared. This thing is absolutely huge. One wrong move and I'll feel those claws ripping through my chest. Damn, you and Faye, I can suddenly see the family resemblance. Grabbing a vial of a different element, I send a powerful gust of wind that should be able to knock the creature off its feet. It is thrown backwards, hitting a tree and breaking the trunk in half. However, it doesn't seem to cause the creature any significant harm. It gets up, shaking off the damage and roaring again. Is there anything that does hurt you? Suddenly, it turns towards me, the glow in its eyes brightening with a strange intensity. I feel a tingling sensation in my arms as legs and my vision begin to blur. Diggle! Diggle, answer me! Destroy. Destroy the monster. No, not like this. I can't let this happen. You must destroy it. Now is our chance. Okay, that I still don't understand. No, stop this. Stop. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Uh, get a hold of yourself. I fling Isaac backwards away from me. I feel myself losing control. What, what is this monster doing to force something like this to happen? Even the voice in my head seems to be going mad. It hurts! Stop! A blast of light fills my field of vision. I can barely see my own body twisting, changing, growing larger and more powerful. Is this the force of destruction the voice is referring to? <laughs> Not bad. What's the matter? Getting cold feet? I had horns there. I close the distance between me and the saber cat at blinding speed using my new form, lifting its massive bulk with my arms. I fling it around and throw it right into the tree, which it impacts with a sickening crack. I don't know who you are, but if you think you could stop me, you're sadly mistaken. Yeah, those are horns. I have their horns. It stands up, leaping towards me, but I reach out my clawed hand and grab it by the neck with a yelp. It cries out in pain as I clench my hand, choking the life out of it. Yes, this feels right. I shouldn't hold back, you have to die. That's what the voice is telling me. I reach out my other hand and can feel something forming out of thin air. Red and crystalline, it materializes from my hand until it reaches a sharp point. I pull my arm backwards, ready to plunge it into the Sabercat's hide. 
However, I stop a millisecond before the blade impacts, hearing a voice from below. Dougal, stop! You're going to kill her! What? Cease this behaviour at once! Her? What do you mean, her? My eyes widen as I realise I can hear a woman's voice crying out. Fighting the urge to kill the creature, I drop the blade to the ground where it shatters into a million pieces. What the hell is going on? Letting go of the saber cat, it falls to the ground, landing in a heap. It seems to dematerialise before my eyes in a bright flash. I can see a dark figure fleeing in the distance, though it's too far away to tell who it is exactly. Wait! Come back! I... Ah! My body seems to be shifting back to what it was before. All my muscles feel cramped as though I'd been dragged behind a mammoth on a rope. I... I've never seen that happen to you before, Dougal. Me neither. It's something about this place. Something was always off about it. More like something is about off about you. I couldn't help it. Something was telling me to kill it. I think it wanted me to attack it. Well, whoever it was certainly got their wish. It seems you passed the test with flying colours, Dougal. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Anyway, we should hurry back to Lamia and tell her whoever was controlling the familiar was a woman. Wait, you don't think... Master was nice, just like Dougal. Master had family who was nice too. Faye never said anything about Magistus having a wife or a child. For all we know, Magistus could be that child. What? Magistus was... Yeah, no, I don't get that at all. Dougal, are you insinuating that it was Lamia who was all behind this? We definitely change around our viewpoints as to who did it quite a lot. She seemed awfully interested in the alchemist for someone who was spying on Magistus. She wasn't even perturbed by Faye. Doesn't that strike you as odd? I suggest we not jump to conclusions until we can ask her personally. Perhaps she will tell us the truth. Something tells me it won't be pretty. I'm winded by running all the way back to town. By now, anything could have happened. However, the sounds of footsteps tapping on the stone-paved street seizes when I notice a figure up ahead. Dougal. Lamia, is, is everything okay? Yes, it's just fine. After all, my mission is complete. That seems awfully quick. What happened while I was gone? Why did you lie to me, Dougal? I thought I could trust you, but it seems that trust was misplaced. Lamia? I know you're an unbound Dougal. Keep your friends closer and your enemies closer, is that right? I swear, I didn't want to hurt you. Well, you certainly failed. I didn't think you of all people would be the one I was searching for, but now it all makes sense. I was meaning to tell you, but fugitive from the Empire, I wonder how many people you murdered. Of course, you remembered your power, or perhaps you never forgot. You know about that? Of course I do, after all the monster is under my control. Just tell me one thing, are you Magistus? Mm-hmm, what do you think, Dougal? I think you can't stop me. You saw what I did to your damn monster. If you don't want me to le if you don't want me to leave you alone, I'll kill you both. Why don't you try it? I know you've used up all your power. Don't think you can forsake me and get away with it. I'm the fucking evil master overlord, whatever. This just proves you don't deserve the stone. I'll rip it from you. That's how this works. Not like you were going to give it to me anyway. It looks like I'll have to take it by... <clears throat> You're even more boneheaded than I thought. I start to feel dizzy and collapse onto the street. It seems that my unbound form took more of a toll than I'd realised. No, wait. Why do you want an unbound? Mm, come to the tower if you wish to learn the truth. With Lamia's parting words, I feel my consciousness drifting away. I don't think even Isaac can rouse me from this slumber. There's that conscious coming back in again. Oh. Betrayal. The traitor must be destroyed. We must go. You are not safe here. This is where I have always been, and this is where I will, shall stay. What am I without my people? If you stay there, you will be destroyed. At this very moment, they are targeting the city. Yes, I know. I will create the shield for as long as it takes my people to escape. If you are sacrificed, all of us will soon follow. You know that we cannot live without a ruler. Then you must learn how having a ruler such as I was a mistake. No, I will not allow you to die at the traitor's hands. Combine your power with mine and we can destroy her together. And what if you lost? Then we will both perish, along with the remaining hope for humanity. Her plan will succeed completely and utterly. 
It is not as clear-cut as you claim. All you must do is trust me, and that is not a risk I'm willing to take. If any part of her remains, then the Unbound will have been a failure. Am I hundreds of years old? This is what they're getting at. Pay no heed to those charlatans. My comrades must not have died for nothing. The Ark can be destroyed. No. There is another way. You must hide my essence within the hypercrystal. If you sealed yourself, there would be no way to stop her. This is exactly what she must believe. That she is unparalleled, invincible, that I no longer exist. Cut off the tail and it will grow back. But where would you go? The same place that my people are going. I'm sure hope you can reach I'm sure you can reach in time. And what of me? What then? I think you already know, Argath, my love. It was my choice to keep him there. It was his choice to obey me. If he did not, could we have won? I was waiting for him to disobey. But he never did. We have got to be near the end at this point, but there's an old, there's a whole day to this. Wow. <laughs> Morning! <clears throat> I am an unbound. There's apparently a devil. Diggle! Diggle! Uh, who is it? Can't you see I'm sleeping? Suddenly I remember what happened yesterday. My eyes jerk open. I see concerned and a very hairy face hovering over me. Oh, thank goodness you're awake. I thought you were in a coma. No, I'm fine, I think. You are lucky to have such a dedicated familiar. He led me straight to you last night. You were just lying there in the street. Yeah, I think I might have drank too much. It's really nothing. Are you sure you're in good health? Should I call Maya? I'm okay, really. Did you hear anything about the monster? No, nothing of note. It remains as elusive as ever. What, did you find something? Just a lead. I have to follow it as soon as possible. Do you want me to come with you? No, I wouldn't want you getting hurt. I can handle this by myself. Besides, it's probably nothing. If you say so, my preparations are nearly complete, but I suppose I can try and ask some more people. You do that and say hello to Jeffrey for me. Hold on, you're sure leaving in a hurry? I have some urgent business to take care of. Duh, you're only on a roll, Dougal. I don't doubt you'll be able to stop the monster. The things you and the other alchemists have done are a bit unprecedented in this town. I hope so, but the way things are going, I don't know what to think anymore. Diggle, wait! No, sorry. We're, we're leaving. Uh, my life is in danger, mate. And I'm an evil overlord. I have to rule the world. We walk outside into the crisp dawn air. Not many people are out and about yet. Better for me to calm my nerves. My hands are shaking with a tension I've never seen. I, th I think you should stay here too. If I become that thing again, I don't want you getting injured. What exactly do you plan to do? This could be a trap. It could be, but I've travelled too far to give up now. The Philosopher's Stone is here. I know it. Just because it's here doesn't mean you can use it. Actually, I think I'm the only one who can. Well, Dougal, you haven't let me down before. Don't let... Don't make this the first time. With our relationship, you'd be surprised. Really? Oh, well, whatever. Isaac leaves my shoulder, fluttering to a safe spot. I'm surprised he actually put his trust in me for once. If I don't come back... Nonsense, of course you will. I might walk into one of his traps. He seems too confident. In the town square, a few new jobs are posted on the job board, but I pay them no mind. This matter takes priority. If I can stop Magistus here and now, I'll be able to get everything I was searching for these three long years. I trudge through the snow with Faye nowhere in sight. He must still be within the tower at this early hour, conversing his energy. Walking up to the large metal doors, I rap on the knocker and wait a minute passes. Nothing. Faye, I know you're in there. I, I want to play with you. I knock again, but there's silence for yet another minute. Uh, Faye, your master wants to talk to you. Still hearing no answer, I decide to enter the tower. The door creaks. The doors creak open at my touch, as though someone had left them unlocked. Could it be an accident or an invitation? An invitation. The place is eerily quiet as I step farther inside. Some of the gears start to turn and the doors slam closed. It looks like I'm trapped. The elevator has already raised to the top floor. White noise trickles from the phonograph-like horns mounted on each wall that seem hastily placed. 
Suddenly, a familiar voice blares from above my head, and it doesn't seem to be that of a mad scientist. You just couldn't leave well enough alone, could you, Dougal? It seems they are transmitting her voice from somewhere, but it doesn't appear to be recorded. I'm guessing she's holed up safely on the second floor, a disembodied voice like the words of a goddess. Lamia, how are you talking through those? New technology from the Empire, but that's besides the point. Thanks to you, I have all this information I need. Now, I can finally end this little charade. Then you really are. Is the realisation making its way through to your brain yet, Dougal? I created the challenge because I am Magistus. I thought you were an agent. Tell me, Dougal, could an agent possibly do this? The elevator descends from above with Faye dutifully stepping off and stomping towards me with the clank of steel claws on steel. However, he seems different. Faye, what's going on? Master Lamia says that Faye is a nice kitty, but Dougal is a bad, bad man. I don't understand. What did I do to deserve this? Master knows why Dougal ran away. Dougal did bad things in the Empire. Ugh. I'm inflicted with a sudden headache, forcing me to struggle to stay standing amidst the dizziness. What was it that I tried to forget? Did I really do something heinous? Was I a criminal? A murderer? Don't try and claim that you're innocent. I know what an Unbound is capable of. I let myself get too close to you. Fate, don't believe her lies. You don't have to fight me. Faye is loyal to me. Now arise, my pet, and capture him. Wait, Faye, you were supposed to be my new familiar. Don't you want to be me to be your master? Faye not want a master anymore. Dougal not good master, he poopy head. She's forcing you to do this, isn't she? You don't have to obey her. You can follow me instead. Faye swipes his claws in anger at my brash suggestion. No! Master built Faye, so Faye will obey master forever. I begin to shake with rage. The rage of betrayal. I trusted Faye. No, I trusted Lamia. But in the end, it seems like she was just using me to get what she wanted. Who knows what she'll do once she captures me. All right, I was doing that. I'm not sure Dougal's got the idea of this whole, you know, evil bastard wanker overlord master thing. Regardless, I think we're fucked personally.